I see it, you know, much like a, a fishing trip, essentially our lives. And the word tells us there are so many things you get context clues all over the, the word and they all fit together to point somewhere. Um, one that's real important to me that I, I repeat a lot is life is but a vapor. It's in James here for a little while and then vanishes away. So I like pulling back, looking at big perspective in order to make smaller, you know, step-by-step -step daily decisions because those are reflected in the big picture. So if you can get the idea that this world is not your home, you're just passing through, life is just a vapor, this stuff passes, then you can start to let go of the natural stuff all around you. Obviously you live in it and you need it at some level, but it certainly shouldn't be as important as it's it's lifted up to be. And if you focus on uh, God's preparing a place for us, eye hath not seen, ear hath not heard, nor hath the mind of man conceived of what he's preparing for us. You know that life's a vapor. You know that this world's not your home. You know that treasures that we lay up here rust. They're stolen and they break. And up there they don't. So when you buy into the, the whole picture, then it becomes simple to know what to do. If life really is that short, then we need to be about winning folks to, to the Lord, giving them the love of Christ. Use all means at your disposal and give with no strings attached. Because in that, you earn the right, then at some point they're going to say, why are you doing this? What's in it for you? Well, there's nothing in it, and it's specifically for me. Jesus is the one who gave me everything.